After suffering their most demoralizing loss of the season on Wednesday, the Yankees look to bounce back after just a few hours of sleep with the day game for a finale against the Angels. However, the weather didn't cooperate, and the game has been postponed to Monday, August 16th instead, something the Yankees likely aren't complaining about considering where the team stands right now. It was also perfect timing for Chairman and Managing General Partner Hal Steinbrenner to make his first media appearance of the season and address some of the ongoing questions and concerns about this team. And he made those thoughts very clear, calling the situation aggravating, frustrating, perplexing to use just a few words, particularly saying that the offensive struggles frustrate him the most for a team that is simply capable of much more and has shown it in the past. Coming out of spring training, Steinbrenner felt that this was a championship caliber team that, due to both injuries and underperformance, hasn't lived up to it. Aaron Hicks' injury in this early going certainly didn't help, creating the need to add Tim LaCastro to the mix and El Dennis Sanchez as the player involved in a Mike Ford trade. And Corey Kluber, Luis Severino, and the starting rotation struggles are another issue. Regardless, he knows that those are not excuses and that the team simply needs to be better and should be. In reference to the players, they're better than this, Steinbrenner said, and the players would likely say the same. Steinbrenner knows that he has a roster of guys all in their primes who aren't meeting expectations, and that is where the blame should be. Myself, Cashman, Boone, the coaches, I mean, we're, we're responsible, right? I mean, we're, we're in charge. So at some level, we're responsible for what's going on. But make no mistake about it. I mean, my opinion, the majority of the responsibility, whether it's the responsibility of, of inconsistent offense or bad base running, et cetera, that responsibility lies with the players. They're the ones on the field, right? Uh, they're a group of very talented, professional athletes that are playing this game at the highest level in the world. They need to fix this problem. Uh, they need to fix the problem because everyone, including our fan base, rightfully so, has had enough, quite frankly. Uh, it's enough. And they know that. And, you know, you're, you're, you're seeing them say that. Uh, they're taking it seriously. They had a team-only meeting. Um, a couple days ago, which in my opinion is always the best type of meeting, uh, peers holding other peers accountable uh, is, in my belief, the most effective type of meeting that can, that can occur. But we all can share the blame, but the majority of the blame lies with them. But beyond stating the problem, what is the path to a solution? For Steinbrenner, it's patience. Unlike his father, George, who was quick to react and make change when he felt it was necessary, Hal doesn't take that same approach, saying that the rash one was sometimes unsuccessful and that he prefers to see an entire body of work instead. For that reason, he has faith in manager Aaron Boone, saying that the player's respect to the manager is one of the most important elements of an MLB team's success, and the Yankees have that. Steinbrenner credited Boone, saying that overall he's done a good job of keeping that clubhouse together through these difficult three months, ones that keep the Yankees nine games back of the top of the AL East at the moment. The same is true of general manager Brian Cashman, who he's often in conversation with and will cooperate with if a move becomes necessary to improve. And would Steinbrenner be willing to surpass the luxury tax to make that happen? If it's a guy he thinks can help the team? Absolutely. He cites his move for Masahiro Tanaka and signing him as one example of that in the past. The question becomes, what will the Yankees be looking for? Steinbrenner fully embraces an analytical approach to the game, one that some have come to criticize for the construction of this roster and the lacking voice that some pro scouts say they have within the organization. Steinbrenner doesn't necessarily see things that way, saying that the analytics guy gets the first call and the scouts the second, saying, I can't imagine another organization that goes through these processes in a more comprehensive way than we do. And when both of those parties agree, that's when a decision is made for the Yankees. While the faith is unquestionably there in this team, as the season rages on, it may soon become time for a change, and both Steinbrenner and Cashman have stated that could be the case. For now, the expectation though remains the playoffs for a championship caliber team, not just because of the expectation for Yankee fans, but because that will prove that this team came back from the hole that they're in right now. Steinbrenner isn't ready to speculate on what the team's fate will be if that isn't the case, but each game adds just a bit of clarity to that future. The next ones come this weekend in the Subway Series with the NL East leading New York Mets. Barring any weather delays, Montgomery will have the ball tonight, Cole on Saturday, and to be announced for Sunday. And even though this weekend may not have too much of an impact on the divisional standings, it will mean so much more to the city of New York in a season where the orange and blue has shown just a little bit brighter. Reporting on the Yankees, I'm Alex Woltz, WFUV Sports.